Welcome back, everyone, to Curse of the Vistani, episode 34. It's hard to believe we're already so far into the campaign. All right, so... Sounds when... like your sound check is fine. Perfect. According to Pika. Thank you, Pika. Sound. Thank you, Nanny. <laughs> All right, so when last we left off, you guys chased uh, the assassins out of the ball and thanks to Ashitaka's group you kind of cornered them in this square um all these blue and yellow and black lines around the edges are all of Ashitaka's men preventing their escape and kicked butt yeah and you guys kicked butt uh, I had an army of Sturgis <laughs> yep you convinced some Sturgis to help you out which ended up Killing one of them. And then you um, and then caused him to lose his turn, which ended up killing him. So, you guys did really well. You burnt a lot of spells and such. Spells and abilities, but you did a really good job. And we ended with you guys looting the bodies and getting... I believe 1,200 gold? Yes. And then... Yes. I don't remember if I said it last time, but you also uh, found... A light crossbow plus one yeah. and plus one bolts, which Lily has. Right. Yes. Those as well. Uh, and you also would have found uh, each of them were wearing a ring. You did not mention that. No, nope. I did not. I forgot to. <laughs> uh, they're each wearing a ring. And on the underside of the ring is a needle. Mm hmm. So basically, a uh, poisoner's ring. Yep. Also, Peek is talking in roll twenty. For yep. Media look here. at your stream because the main map looks odd. Oh, it's the wrong one. Got it. Thank you. Peek says welcome. Here we go. She says she'll talk soon. Ooh, fancy. I'll be Pika Reader for now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, so the, these are basically uh, rings with a needle on it uh, that's, like, dipped in poison or coated in poison. Death pill, like, there, there's, basically. There's, like, a vial of poison inside the ring. Obviously not much because it's just a ring. But uh, it's potent enough to be able to poison someone with just a prick. And they are each wearing one. Which is how they got the mayor. Yep. Yep. That is how they got the mayor. Not in his drink, but when she and when she shook his hand towards the end there. That's smart. Uh-huh. That's okay. We we were prepared either way. Mm -hmm. Yes. Lilia the protector. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that. This is why the we healer. kept you close. <laughs> Lilia, right. Lilia protect. Lilia heal. So you guys wanted to divvy up the gold? Yeah, so it's 200 gold per party member was the math. I think you'll have to wait until we actually get to a point in the story where you could do that, though. Pika. Yeah, we're not, we're not back at our base tasks? yet. I want to get those. Gotcha. Oh, yeah. Um, we need to head back. That's in town, wasn't Yeah, it? you haven't gotten them yet, but uh, you you might have, have to, to just to like add a note on Moro in your list because you're not going to be able to add it to her specifically. You'll just have to remember that it's there. <clears throat> All right. So, what do you guys want to do now? You guys, uh, I well, believe Curio tossed the Sturges back into the window. He all did. All the dead Sturges. He did. You've I got think, all this think, loot. And some dead I think we assassins. were going to go loot the Assassin's base. And at, mm -hmm. at the very well, least recover what we gave them on contract. Because they can't really fulfill their contract anymore. They're dead. Right. We need to do that tonight, though. I mean, as I, soon as possible, my yeah. Thought, 
My thought would be at least drag these bodies back to the mayor. I will remind you that their base is like half a day away from the city. All right, so maybe do that in the morning. My thought would be drag these bodies back to the mayor and get everything cleared up, make sure everything's fine. Mm -hmm. I mean, how far away are we from where the uh, party was? Not very. Not very far at all. You're like a few blocks down. Okay. Ashitaka's could, men I could did dimension a pretty good door job. right back, but I don't know that that's worth it. Uh. <laughs> and uh, speaking of Ashitaka, he, he's gonna come over and be like, "Oh my gosh, you killed them! You killed Rupert and Grinnell Haas! They did try to kill us first. Well, yeah, well, obviously, but." <laughs> They're, they're no pushovers. They're really strong. Son, how strong have you gotten? A lot stronger than you think. Also, hi. I've finished eating now, so I can actually <laughs> unmute. Hi. I put my phone on silent. <laughs> I think we're not exactly pushovers either at this point. I, I can see that. I had no clue you were that strong. Hi, tough kitty, Frower. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still scared. Right, I have to but... get payments as you talk it going on. Yep. <laughs> you do indeed. <laughs> okay. Uh, I should talk to the son simp. He's yeah, actually gonna go over <laughs> to or he he he's not gonna go over. He's gonna signal to his men uh that they can uh, stop guarding it's the area. Clear. Yeah. Yeah. Just give them the all clear sign and they will. And next time, don't fuck with my friends. They wouldn't have gotten into this if they hadn't have tried to stop us. Yep. And they will disperse. Oh, I'm sorry, Buff Bud. Yeah, he didn't uh, manage his time wisely today. Buff Bud didn't? until the last minute to go get food. Uh. <laughs> Alright, um, so... You guys have a couple dead bodies on your hand. What you gonna do? I mean, they're objects the... now. Bag of holding. You could. <laughs> yeah, I, did say I, wanted to, I wanted to loot everything and put it in the bag of holding. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, but that's at the base, not here. No, that's them as well. Well, I think well we already looted, looted them. Oh, okay. Yeah. Then, yeah, yep. drag them back to the map. Probably okay. not in the middle of the party, I would say. Probably to the security guards. <laughs> I mean, again, bag of holding. They don't need to breathe. <laughs> that is true. Yeah. Bag of holding but... is only a problem if you need to breathe. <laughs> I, I still don't think whipping out two dead bodies in the middle of a party is a good idea. Well, no, that's why you put them in the bag of holding so you're not carrying dead bodies into the hall. <laughs> or we could give them to Ashitaka. You go, you go to a back yeah, room. Could take them. Yeah, I think it's better off if we do it. Because you don't know, we might end up getting a reward from the mayor for saving his life. Well, I mean, Ashitaka I think we've already it. saved his life regardless of killing the assassins. Well, I was thinking but... of helping to clear up Ashitaka's reputation, seeing as he has such a shit one in the city. Yeah, it wouldn't be a bad idea. That we could also bring bring them back and make sure that he's affiliated. Like, make it known that we did this with his assistance. His assistance was important. Mm -hmm. Unless Ashitaka comes back with us and his men are carrying the bodies. Could do it that way. Mm. Meteors rolling. Days. I'd imagine we already caused oh, a bit of a stir <laughs> running out after the assassins in the first place. Yeah. So I don't think there's any keeping this quiet. No, hell no. That went out of the window. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised when I, when none I... of the gods followed us. I really am. Or any citizens. Guys... I'm happy they didn't because I would fuss at them to go and stay with the mayor. You guys told them 
to stay with the mayor and you would chase after them. Yeah. Mm. We Whatever didn't the want case, them abandoning the these... mayor in case somebody else Ooh. went after him. Yep. Fire Dale put so out of curiosity, did we take care of the person that sent no. the assassins? We have not. So we've not dealt Jorum. with Jorum. We don't know where he is. You you took we... care of all of his men, but he left is him down there. unaccounted for currently. Correct. So he could still be on his way to the mayor, especially since they so... were Having yeah, a constant conversation. I don't know. Was the was the assassin's conversation between themselves, or was it between them and Joram? Uh, which conversation? The, the running commentary that they had after they were the oh shit. <laughs> the the mental te- communication yes. was just between them. Okay, so okay. the the telepathy, the detect thoughts was just yep between the two assassins. Okay. Right. Good. So Joram doesn't necessarily know that they failed yet. Maybe. Maybe. Depending on where his ears are. Mm-hmm. It's too oh, bad anyways. we can't disguise ourselves as them. Seeing as, you know, the mayor now knows that they're the people that tried to kill him. Could I, I mean, I could disguise myself as one of the assassins. I just don't see the point. To see that if it also would not... Joram out. That would also not go over well with, I think, that the... Uh security yeah i try to kick your ass part of my language (laughs) saplin looks at herself realizing that she's still dressed up as one of the uh the servers Uh (laughs) uh-huh i better not have messed up my dress either i actually like the dress that i have anyways i think we should get these bodies back and make sure the mayor is still okay Mm mm-hmm I'll just, like, yep. throw one over Moro. I mean, we can put them in the bag, or Moro and Luna can ferry them. Mm, either way. Assuming if that they're want... okay with having dead bodies laid across them. Here's my th- thought, then. If you mm. want to help clear Ashitaka's name, maybe having his men carry the bodies back will help in that sense. They already know we went after them, like you said. There's no point in not mm. not causing a scene. If you want to help Ashitaka's rep- reputation, it might be worth it just to have him carry them back and be like, "Yeah, Ashitaka was a big help." Uh, you're saying that out loud in front of Ashitaka. No, I'm saying that to the group out of character. This is above, okay. above table talk. Okay. That, that's what I was asking. Okay. I don't mind suggesting that to Ashitaka. Ashitaka, get two of your... Well, I'd say I need more than two people. Yeah, Just get a couple of your best two. men. You need to can, carry these. Can y'all manage what? to carry What's... these back with us? Uh, uh, sure. Uh, he kind of motions and two more. Hold but... on a sec. Let <laughs> me see if I can do a thing. No more spots. Okay. Important, <laughs> important ready. question above board here. All right. Do we do we think that Ashitaka even wants his reputation cleared? I think he would do it just because I said to. He is a simp. He's a simp, but at the same time, wouldn't that ruin his street cred? If he's trying to make this reputation amongst his men. Wouldn't uh, cleaning up their reputation be the opposite of what they want? Eh, I don't care. <laughs> okay. So I'm going Not my to uh, just choose one of. Yeah. Should I choose one of Ashitaka's men and give him enhanced ability to carry, or no? I just thought I could probably use I don't my think tattoo they'd need and it. just grab. Like pick them okay. Up. Yeah, you, sh- you could do that. Um, or two two men could easily carry uh, a person. Can't be super bad if the authorities are always after you, so acting good every now and then um, can let you get away with murder. Yep, pretty much further. Aurora could probably carry one by himself. Yep, being a, not, a, a not strong issue. giant that he is. And then two of Ashitaka's men could easily carry the other one. 
Okay, so if that's the case, then let's head back. All right. So you guys make your way back down the. Although while we're street. making our way back. Oh yeah. While yeah, we're making go. our way back, can we take stock of our party? Is anyone still hurt? That yeah. kind of thing. Um, How's Moro's be before? Health? Before we get to that, mm -hmm. um, as Ashitaka's men uh, pick up Rupert, um, a stray sturge was underneath of his body. Okay. Uh, San. Yeah. Does a 23 hit? You're a... Uh, yeah. One thing, though, Meteor. Uh-huh. <laughs> if it was under his body, he would have been in my circle. Oh, yeah. This is true. True. You never counted him. <laughs> uh, had you dropped it at this point? No. How long does it last? <laughs> what It lasts 10 minutes. If it was under his body, though, he's in my circle. Yeah, when we moved the body to loot it. Mm. No matter what, he would have been within my circle if he was under his body. I mean, true. Right, but, but Nene, nee, the only thing is, if he was under the body and your guardians or whatever the circle is, I think the, the circles are spirit guardians, right? Yes. They mm -hmm. wouldn't have necessarily physically been able to get to him. I think is what Meteor was going yeah. for. And I think, but Not at this fair. point, your your circle would be down. I think ten minutes That's... have definitely passed since the end of combat. You know what is still up, though? What's that? Mana Hammer. Huh? True. Right there. Um, It is a surprise attack, though, on San. How would the Sturge have gotten under his body? It was on him before he fell over. But I was—he didn't I take was... bludgeoning damage from being squashed. Yeah. I was—he was <laughs> in my circle before. Stop poking fell. holes. Meteor <laughs> <laughs> wants to take a last hit at somebody. <laughs> he was in my uh, circle before ooh. he fell. All right, but. All right. <sighs> It's getting a surprise attack. Alright, so it's going to do 1d4 plus 3 damage. Grumble, grumble, grumble. <laughs> so, 4 piercing damage to San, who stepped away. Um, and it's currently attached to her. Banana hammer it. Yeah, but I don't want to banana hammer Son. I think you can aim well enough to not do that. Um, yeah, I'm already down in spell slots, thank you. Well, you shouldn't need to use a spell Your slot Your banana again. hammer should still be up. It's no, a I'm talking about what, yeah. what Firedale said. Yeah. Yeah, we don't really have spells left, Firedale. We got tapped pretty dry there. <laughs> that made you have a sneak yeah. attack. Thank you. <laughs> He's trying to, to hurt us now that we've ex used almost all of our abilities already. And it's not going to hurt very much. It's a sturge. <laughs> Honestly, Nene, you could heal her with the uh, healer's kit with your healer feet after this for the amount of damage that she took. The sturge is dead. Yep. There you go. The Sturge is dead. <laughs> uh, with a very thankful son. You with literally needed else. to do two damage to take it out, so you could have swatted it and probably done enough damage. Exactly. <laughs> is anybody else down hit points? Uh, other other than now son? I don't know. I'm Moro. I'm fine. I'm at full. I was never in melee. Um, Callan is at full. He never got hit. I was yeah. never close enough to take damage. Did yep. you take any damage? Yes. For did you take any damage during what the is fight? your HP? Yes, right, right now, now. sixty-seven. 
out of? 67. Okay. okay. So he yep. already got healed up. And did Curio take any damage? I think Curio took a few hits. I think Curio and Son and maybe Moro took. Moro the was most the hits. most badly hurt at the time, yeah. I thought. Yes. But we'd already done some healing there. Okay. Yep. Okay. Curio is at full on his character sheet. Okay. So how far down is Son now? Son just took Moro. four. At least four. <laughs> Uh, let me Let's see. I'm going to open the sheet here. Son, Son was full. at full, and so she's only four points down. Yep. Even um, if I don't heal her right now, that extras, would be... Extras. Moro was down three points. Which that would heal overnight, right? Yeah. 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 No I point. mean, or a short rest, they can use their hit dice to heal that. No point. Okay. Yeah, well, so it probably attached to her and she went, Oh, little fucker! And then you smashed it with your hammer. <laughs> okay, so you guys continue hauling the bodies. Back to the party. Back to the party. I don't have enough third levels left to do ascending and the hut. So I can't mm -hmm. I can't give him a heads up before we get there. Except with message. Once we get close enough. Okay. So I will send a message when we get close enough. Okay. Alright, so you guys are approaching the party. Two bodies in tow. Uh the two guards at the front said, uh, look at you and be like, Oh, you got him? Well done. Yeah, how's how's the mayor? How's everything inside? Well, everything inside has been quiet since you guys left. Okay. And I'll just sigh in relief. Do they make any comment on the fact that I'm still dressed as one of the uh, the waiters or waitresses? Um. The people that were serving drinks? Um... <laughs> My hair is still bright pink. Yeah, actually, they both uh, got pretty good on their perceptions. Um, uh, ain't you one of the wait staff? I'll alter my disguise to be my party dress and the half elf disguise. All right. And be like a, a necessary. Uh, Ruse to get close enough to stop the assassins. Oh, I oh that's so smart. Yeah, one of them was dressed like a wait staff, wasn't they? Yep. Wow, you guys are good. All right, can we head back in? I know we can. We can keep these fellows off to the side. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll keep bringing them into the party. Yeah, is going to be a problem. Uh, the uh... can we can we get the mayor over here to talk to the mayor even? If y'all don't want us to bring them inside. So the captain is going to come over as well. He's yeah. going to be like, uh, why don't we leave the bodies out here? Uh, we, we don't want to upset the guests any more than they already are. Can you yeah, ask I... the mayor to come out and take a look? I want him to be able to rest assured that this has been taken care of. Of course. He's going to wave one of the guards in to do that. Uh Callan's and it's still um, right here. Back? Can someone explain uh, to me real quick what you've you're done? You're down 4 HP. What? Yeah, Apparently, uh, Meteor said that there was a Sturge clinging to the assassin's body, the, the male one, and when okay. he was lifted up by Ashtok's men, it took a bite out of you. Yep. Okay, so I'm down yeah, full health. It, Got it. didn't yeah. actually die when it was in the circle when he was standing, and I'm a little salty. <laughs> Let okay, it go. I'm really sorry about that. My boss <laughs> accidentally called me. Oh. One of my bosses accidentally called me. So you thought so it was an emergency? I, I thought, shit, why the heck is she phoning me at half past twelve? She knows I'm up on a Friday anyway, but mm. yeah. Okay. It's, like crap. it's not to get you to come into work early? No, I'm not due back at work until Monday. I'm still on week off. 
All right, so basically we've arrived back at the party. Um, Ashitaka's men and Aurora are carrying the two assassins. Yep. We just had a little little play-by-play -play with the guards, and the mayor is coming out to take a look, because I asked yep. them to bring the mayor. Yep. So here comes the mayor. Um, he sees the body. He's like, "Oh, you you took care of that real quick." And I knew you guys were strong. I guess I didn't realize how strong. Zaplin's gonna gonna kind of look over at Son and make a point of mentioning uh, we couldn't have done it without the help of. Ashitaka and his men. What? Wait, no, I, <laughs> no, I didn't do nothing. I nope, I didn't do nothing. Time. I'm over here. <laughs> just carried the bodies back. Come here. Shut up. No. And listen. No! <laughs> Why I looked at some reputation! To give Sana heads up. <laughs> if you want your payment, you're gonna listen to what we're saying. Screw that! Keep your payment! Okay, I don't have to kiss you then. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> when was there kissing involved? What did you think payment was? I'm not giving you my money again. Uh, uh, I, I don't want to talk. I got a reputation, son. I can't have people thinking I'm helping stuff. I could kick your ass, and then you could get another reputation that I beat you again. Uh, and I'll glance over at Ashitaka, and I'm like, oh, so you don't want to be hired for mercenary work. What? Who, wait, what? <laughs> mercenary work. You did an excellent <laughs> job of holding the line. You know, I heard mercenary work pays a lot of money, too. It really does. Mm-hmm. That I'm sounds a bit legitimate. It is honest you work, to, yes. You Depends get to on who people. hires you. Nah. Ooh. Too legitimate okay. for my blood. That's fine. I don't have to pay you, then. Bye. Uh, and the mayor says, anyways, <laughs> thank you all once again. For helping to protect me this time. You've done so much for our city. Unfortunately, there's still one loose thread. Yeah, Jorum. we still Jorum is. We still need the person who's hired them. Yes. Well, I will be making a formal announcement to the people of this city within the next couple days, once we've got all of our facts straight. Yeah. Uh. And... I'll tweak my disguise to look like the uh, the serving staff again. Okay. What? And follow him back into the party when he goes, just because they all saw someone in the serving staff leave. <laughs> Fair. And and I will do this in clear view of the guards so that they know that I'm still the same person. Okay. So, yep. All right. Where did Ashitaka go? Should I also he be ran. asking the mayor <laughs> no, how he's Morrow feeling? Sat on him. <laughs> oh, um, is he so under Moro? He's under Moro. <laughs> yeah. He's under Moro. Okay. Oh. Alright, so. Because Moro can't go up there and neither can Luna, so. Oh, true. Moro's sat on Ashitaka. True. Before, before we go up, I think I would transfer or transform Luna back into. Okay. Human form. Back into I'd into the girl. Guys, yeah. yeah, I'd ask you guys to like form a wall so I could change her. Yep. So Luna would be back in human form. Okay. Couple her to a corner, cast a minor illusion on the corner. Okay. Um, minor illusion, a wall in front of Luna as she changes. Yep. All right, so. You guys come back in, kind of stand off to the side. And the mayor says, No need to worry, everyone. The situation has been handled by my lovely bodyguards here. 
Uh, there, we received word that there might be an attempt on my life, uh, tonight. So I had some undercover bodyguards here at the party, just in case anything happened. And it was a good thing too. But because they have been dispatched of, and everything is a okay, and I am just fine. And everyone kind of applauds. Yeah, good job, yeah! Um. Probably wondering who the, the defense kitty was that just, like, took over. <laughs> but now let, let everyone get back to the party. We ha This is a celebration! Not for me, for the kids that have returned. And the, the music kicks back up. The gestures start juggling again. Are we going to run into Jorm now, though? Possibly. Yeah, never know. Um, so, now that all this has happened, what are you guys wanting to do? Are, are you guys going to stick around at the party? Are you going to leave and go back to sleep? I would probably take a short rest at the party. Okay. And, um, yeah. And I will go ahead during my, uh, short rest. I'll do a song of rest. Okay. So any friendly creatures that need to regain hit points, uh, if they're spending a hit dice to restore any hit points, they get an extra 1d6. Okay. Okay. And that's that's any friendly creature, so if the mayor in any way took damage okay. that was not healed. <laughs> Perfect. Nope. AKA Son heal. Can we <laughs> heal? Yes. By two. So you get two. so you can spend a, a hit dice and then you also get two. What dice on one D six? Uh your hit dice. Should be. If you click on short rest, um, yeah, you're effectively taking a short rest. At the rest. bottom, it it says uh, your hit dice there. Oh, one yeah. d eight. Yeah, so you do one d eight. So you're just spending one of the hit dice, and then we're taking a short rest. So. Yep. So if you do automatically apply healing with dice result checked, then you're good, and then you would just add two to whatever doesn't get. Healed. Same with moral, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Any anybody who can hear me who wants to take advantage of it can do that. All right. So you guys uh, okay. kind of take a seat off to the side and uh, just kind of chill there, relaxing, hoping nothing else happens tonight after that difficult battle. Does I got all my bardic inspirations back? <laughs> <laughs> the whole point. <laughs> Hooray! Uh, Alan uh, disappears for a minute, and then comes back with a plate full of bacon. He's got some stuff in his mouth. You got lots of bacon. It's good. Pockets. Yep, pocket bacon. That this isn't. Where's very the bag of holding? Gallon. Here, he starts shoving oh, oh. some in. I mean, you just really don't want to put perishables in the bag of holding. What? Oh, nah. What? Oh. I'll just summon it back out and put it he, in an he actual take... satchel. <laughs> he just takes some of the other ones that he hadn't put in yet. He goes, "Okay, I'll just put them in my pockets," and she just shoves them in there. Yes, that's better. Well, All right. If you could figure out how to make a bag that has a colding spell or something like that on it. Yeah. If if oh. you had a bag that kind of could either preserve food or purify food that was in it. Hey, that's a good idea. I'll try and That'd think something really up. Good. All right. Maybe a project for you to consider later. Yeah. 
I can work on that tonight. All right, so the... the bag of colding, <laughs> All right, so you guys relax, enjoy the party, eat some more food. Uh, Does anybody look suspicious? Um, roll me a perception check. A 20. That's pretty good. Uh, you see no one looking suspicious. No Joram? You do not notice Joram at all. In fact, Although the rest of the be. evening goes off smoothly. Okay. You so guys no end Joram up staying till chances. the end of the party. Um, people are filtering out. You guys are kind of just sticking around just just to make sure and sure enough no more assassins no joram and there's fine what's that the mayor is fine yep mayor is fine okay i saved his life oh. uh and he even leaves the party with uh with the other security some of the like six of the guards kind of surrounding him just to make sure uh, to escort him back to his place of residence. San punches Ashitaka's arm and kisses his cheek. Don't say a word. Bye. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> he, he kind of makes a zipping motion on his lips like, I'm not saying anything. <laughs> he just said something. No, he he was zipping his lips as if to say. No, that. I know, but he's, he said he's not saying anything. But he he, he did not verbalize not it. it. Yeah, he did not verbalize it. Uh, and then you guys are able to uh, leave the party free and clear, and make your way back to your room for the night. Okay. Where right. you can take a long rest. Long rest. I will cast Liam into Tiny Hut just to be thorough before we go to sleep. Okay. Because um, the mayor did out us as his hidden bodyguards. Mm -hmm. So you are in three separate rooms. Okay. Um, it's a ten foot radius. So I would basically offer whoever wanted to sleep inside the dome. Okay. To bunk in the same room, I guess. I'd be going in the dome. <laughs> uh, Callan would be like, Nah, I got tinkering to do. I'll just keep you guys up. Okay. And he closes his door, and you get, you just hear this... <laughs> as he's tinkering I'd away. Probably st I'd probably still have him huddle... By when I cast it, because if he's in it when I cast it, he can move in and out of it freely. Fair enough. Yep. So I would have the entire party cluster, <laughs> then cast it, and be like, okay, if y'all want to come in here at some point, you can. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, blah, blah, that is spelled correctly. Good job. That is how you spell Callan. Uh, if he doesn't call it the bag of colding, you're going to be disappointed. I mean, there is a homebrew item called the bag of colding. It's a thing. Uh. Okay. Yes, bag of colding. Not There's holding, also holding. a bag of preservation as a homebrew item. Mm -hmm. I think we decided, decided though, that it won't be anything spatial, right? So it's not going to Right, be... it was going to be fairly small. It's, mm -hmm. it's nerfed for us. Yes, correct. Okay. Okay. So we can have a preservation bag, but it's not going to be OP. Right, it has a fixed capacity that is... Right. Like, it's essentially the size of a, a chest cooler. It's about it. Mm -hmm. That's what it can fit. <laughs> yep. Perfect for pocket bacon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fresh, yummy pocket bacon at all times. Yum. Not meant to be used as a body bag, and if it is, it would not fit very many. <laughs> nope. All right. <laughs> So, um, how late is the tattoo show shop open? 
Um, the tattoo shop would definitely be closed by now. It is like very morning. late. You'd have to wait till the morning. Mm-hmm. So how, um, it was the Eldritch tattoo that we were talking about, I think? Uh, I think there was two tattoos you guys were considering getting. Uh, I think the mine, I know we can't do one. mine. Mine's too expensive. Right. Mine is way down the line. What's the one... Firebutt, if you're there, what's the one that you're talking about for Luna? I think... He was talking about Eldritch Claw yeah. to give her yes. range. Yes. A ranged attack. And you said that was seven. Uh, six hundred. Six hundred. Mm-hmm. If you look in the pins on Discord, it's right there. Okay, so how would we work that in with Luna? Um. Like, Could what do we you add technically an attack for her? Oh, gotcha. You would do it the same way as uh, she's going to have to do Moro's, which is you put it in the notes, yeah, and yeah. you just have to remember to yep. add it every time you roll. Yep. I'm not going to remember that. I was <laughs> well, I mean, just gonna... technically, Firedale has to add every time his rolls, too, because it doesn't automatically do it. Yep. I was just going to add a custom attack onto my attack list and put it as Morrow's like, snake tattoo and then roll it from there. There you go. That's what That's I was thinking, do but how do, sure. how do you do that? You'd have to add a custom attack, which I've got to go in and do after I get the... Yeah, we, we can do that at a later point. Because I um. would like the Eldritch Claw for Luna too, please. Okay. Y'all yeah. Yeah, can, can do that so... after after the session. Yep. Can can we say I pay for it first, though? Yeah. You said 600 Yeah, so mm -hmm. you, you guys wake up in the morning, uh, have some of the pocket bacon. Um, uh, Callum comes out and's like, It's a lie! I would also remind Lilia to keep Zone of Truth for the next day, in case we encounter Joram, because we're not going to have a better time to make him confess. So, oh, can I, uh... Should it? Mm. Yeah, she can change her spells. Okay, we're doing I, yeah. need to... Yep, you can. Um, but so Callan says it's alive and holds up a bag of preservation. Beautiful. Uh, which you should. Uh, whoever is carrying I'm it can add it to their drink, though, for now. Uh, item. List. I can. I can carry it, I suppose, unless somebody else wants to. Put it on the belt next to the bag of holding. I'm keeping my zone of truth, but I'm getting my guiding bolt back. Yeah. I missed having it. Mm hmm Can we just say okay, that so I was it's, with the poison kit? It's the bag of preservation is the one we're going with? Yep. I need to find where my poison okay. kit is. Oh, I want it to be... But it, can you can call, call it, it bag... bag yes, you can call it, we can call it the bag of holding. We can name it, yes. Uh, okay. This is just But it's the... a legitimate item in D&D Beyond. Right. Uh, you, you can definitely call it the bag of holding. It's just the the actual item name is Bag of Preservation. Oops. Uh, so do I take the six hundred out now for the yeah, tattoo go ahead. or no? <coughs> go ahead. Yeah. There, just for you, I, I renamed it. Yay! So you guys uh wait till like ten because that's about when the tattoo shop would open up, um, and make your way over there, and. He's like, oh, you want tattoos for your animals, too? Oh. I, I guess that could work. Hey, let, let's try it. And he just takes out the pen. And um, where are you wanting the tattoos on them? Uh, I said one of them's on Mara's head. And the other one's on her back. So okay. I think the... Grasp is on her back, and the Eldritch Claw is on her head. Um, I believe these ones oh, are so either they're... arm or scalp. Yeah, they have specific half a limb uh, or scalp. Oh, okay, then scalp and like right paw. Okay. And they're That's magical, so all you actually do is you hold the needle next to yep. the skin, and it's there. So there's no yep. actual pain involved. Correct. Mm -hmm. For me, it will be right. 
claw our right leg for Luna. Okay. I wish it was the case for real life tattoos. <laughs> right? Ugh. Like, um, so you you also have the option of having the tattoo on, uh, like kind of hidden under the fur, or also or displaying like on top of the fur, like being me, visible through hidden. the fur, basically. I'd have mine hidden on Mara. Okay. Hidden. So no visible change so, to them since they have fur to cover yeah. it up. Yeah. Don't want people to know that she's a badass. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What's the other one that you're getting, Moro? I'm getting uh, the Eldritch Claw and the Coiling Grasp. So Firedale's tattoo and my tattoo on. So I can grasp How much is the coil and grasp? Same. So it's 1,200. Hey, Fire, but you still willing to front some money for <laughs> Luna's tattoo? Didn't you just get 200 from Loot? No, I, no, yep. we didn't split it. Yeah, yeah we did. Yeah. Oh. We, we, we split it when we bed down for the night. You had it this morning. Yep. Oh, okay. Oh, but he did say he was looking to... Or that he was... Firedale says yes. Well, he said yes a while ago. Yeah, it's, only it's, it's only 200. It's only 200. Plus, we're he going said. to back to that cave, so we're going to be getting 6,000 plus at least there. Yeah, he said Kuro would give her enough to do it. Yeah. Okay. So you can mark Firedale, that off on you your in... sheet, Cheerio. Can we get Firedale to go into uh, our character sheets and add the tattoos? <laughs> if he wants to. Cherry will give her 400 more so she can hey. get it. <clears throat> Where does the coil and grasp have to go? Same. Skull or paw. Yeah. So then I would Apple say probably limb. left front. Actually, for, for an same? animal, it would probably be the whole limb, I think. Uh, cause yeah, it's... it would be the entire uh, Yeah. Entire limb for each. Yep. So left and right then for her. <clears throat> okay. All right. Okay, so I have to remove It's a surface area then. thing. It's weird. So I have to remove um... 200 and Firedale's doing the 400? Yeah, the, so each of them is 600. Yes, so... I already moved the 600 for the okay. other one. Okay. Okay, yeah. If then, yeah. Firedale's covering four, then I take two. Yep. Okay. All right. So, yeah. Mark Thank you, 800. Firebutt. Or sit. It's 1200. Yeah. All together. So, yeah. Eight from you, four from him. Wait, what? 800 from you, 400 from him. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Well, I already, I already did the other 600 out. Right. <laughs> Don't confuse me. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Alright. So you got your tattoos. Is there anything else you guys are wanting to do in the city? Um, there's temples you could go to. Um, you could do some more shopping. I would like to acquire uh, fresh food to put in our new bag of colding. Okay. I had just added it, and then you said 400. So yeah, I have to take 200 back out. Fire button. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Anyways, we're good. Gonna have to help me figure out how to make attacks for Luna, though. Later, please. And thank you. Yep. Alright, so you're wanting to go to the market to get more food. Yes. Would be nice to okay. get a nice, a nice fresh food um, supply. Um, I'll let you decide like how much gold you're wanting to spend on food. I'll go ahead and I'll spend. See what's a reasonable amount here. I'll spend ten gold of food, and that should fill the bag pretty well okay. for a little bit. Perfect. I got ten gold. Pocket bacon. Well, bacon, you can get bacon. fruit, you can get, veggies. You can get bacon that's not even cooked yet. Yeah, we could oh. we could get some uh some raw meat to put in stews or mm -hmm. fry over the fire, all this stuff. Potatoes, we can make some really, really nice hearty stews now. 
I wonder if the mayor's going to do anything to thank us. He did give us free room and board, so. I mean, let's not get greedy. We do the have free that room entire and board, though. To we be have fair, that. Was we have that entire kids. assassins. Yeah, you got all the assassins. Stock loot. to uh, loot. Let's not get greedy with the townsfolk. Mm -hmm. They're dealing yes. with enough right now. Are you going Leave. to reveal your tieflingness or no? Not while Joram's still on the loose. Heck no. Okay. That seems like a very bad idea. Yes, it does. <laughs> very bad. Okay. We've been to the magic shop. I've gotten anything that I really wanted. Alright, um... But Nene and uh, Aurora, are you wanting to visit uh, local temples or anything? Hmm. Perhaps the temple would be appropriate. Okay. Anybody else want to go? <laughs> um, and you would each... Uh, be able to find temples that serve your particular god as well. This is a big enough city that they would have temples for several of the major uh, gods. Uh, and when you ask uh, around to try and figure out where they are, uh, you like ask this older gentleman, he's like, oh yeah, that the Temple of Paylor, that, uh, if you go down Elm for ten blocks, make a left on Cherry, and then a right on, oh, what is it, uh, on Elm, no, not Elm, I already said Elm, uh, right, right on Maple, Maple, that's it. Elm, then cherry, then maple. It, it's right there. You can't miss it. Thank you kindly, sir. Got I appreciate big old your... sun on it. Big old sign, you say? Yeah. Hey, we're the sun it. god, right? That is correct. I'll yeah. tag along to whichever temple. Okay. Because it's a temple for Saloon. Uh, I'm assuming she's the only not going to say to Annoy Ashitaka. I'm going to go Annoy Ashitaka. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you can go Annoy Ashitaka while they're going to the temple. Um, and yeah, you you get directions to uh your temple as well, Banane. Um, Please tell me it's not from the old man. <laughs> I no, would it's actually like from his wife. To... No. <laughs> I'd like to acquire an item from one of the temples, actually. Okay. okay. Um, what are you wanting to acquire? Uh, holy water. Oh. Yeah. There you go. That would be where you get it. Yes, it would. Maybe I should pick some up, too. Yeah, because you can get holy water at temples usually, and sometimes you'll be able to buy um, tokens or the like. Uh, amulets, emblems, reliquaries, that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Anything helpful right. for a cleric? I mean, a lot of that is just things that would act as a holy symbol, if you wanted an additional holy symbol. Yeah, I've got you already holy have symbol. one. But now I wouldn't mind picking up uh, a flask of holy water just to have. Uh oh, Son's rolling sleight of hand. Fired at says cleric and paladins generally get given stuff to help with their duties of being holy warriors. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like a temple as as a cleric or a paladin, uh, the temple might offer you like free lodging. Uh, you might have, mm -hmm. depending on the temple, access to documents that you can use to research, um, information, things like that. Sometimes they might have enchantments or spells, but 
that really depends on the size of the temple. Correct. And then you can usually uh, purchase healing at a temple as well. All right, so a flask of holy water would be 25 gold. Um, wait, uh, Banani, which day is yours again? Noon. Saloon? Yep. Okay. Alright, she's, she's Moon, Nihon's, uh, son, right? Did we change her in? Hmm? Was that actually in my thing? Did we fix it? I don't know if you changed it or not. It'd be easy enough to check, though. Alright, so... Um, uh, when, when you guys get to the temple, um, they'll have, like, altars you can pray at, and uh, you can also uh, make offerings if you'd like. Either of you want to do that? Yes. Sorry, give me a second. Mm. What is considered offering? Um, what do you want to give? What do you want to offer? What's appropriate to your deity? Yeah, that's if my you question. Can't I think don't of know. anything. You, you well, could do. You saloon, it could be as simple nature, as gold, yeah. or you could, yeah, you could yeah. offer something that would be of importance to your deity. Um, but gold is always a good one if you can't think of anything mm -hmm. else. Her domains are knowledge, life, and twilight. Right. Okay, so yeah, you could give something for one of her domains, or you could just do a monetary offering. You could offer her knowledge. Uh, like, knowledge of importance to you. Um, or gold. What would or... be a good monetary? Because that... I can't think of anything that I'd have on me. That, that's completely up to you. Yeah, or you could just pray. That's also an option. Pray? I don't okay. know. First yeah. time I've done that. Um, so, uh, Aurora, you said you wanted to give an offering. Uh, what are you wanting yes. to give? That's a good question. I gotta think of it. I'm trying to remember what the, uh, what, what what good offerings would be the paylor? Excuse me, sorry. I haven't had to do this, so. <laughs> paylor is life and the sun? Yep. Yes. Okay. Okay, fire, but I'll do that then. Man person tends to only make a few copper a week for a full week. Of work, so gold is a large offering. Yep. Hmm. Yeah, and there is actually a chart, uh, depending on what you picked at the beginning. I don't know if anybody's actually been keeping track of it. But based on your income level, your lifestyle, uh, there is an estimate of how much gold you spend to maintain your lifestyle in a month. Mm-hmm. I don't think we really messed with that at all. Yeah, we didn't mess with it too much. Mm -hmm. But I mean, that also gives you an idea of this is how much your life cost every every week. It gives you a basis, but adventurers make a lot more money than the common folk. And we do. I just don't know what <laughs> I'm just like trying to think how much I should offer here. I'm like I want to offer Ten gold. Uh, I think I can actually probably do that. We make enough money, ten gold. We do. And if not, I can steal it. <laughs> ten gold is fair. Ten gold is more than fair. I mean I okay. just spread out ten gold to fully stock the bag of colding, so I've I've made somebody's day. <laughs> okay, I'm doing ten then. <laughs> Alright. Um, so, 
Lilia, when you put in uh, your gold, you you get kind of this like warming presence. It it, it almost kind of feels like a hug uh, upon putting in your offering. Um, and Aurora, when you put in your gold, you are suddenly hit, like, kind of with, by this wind. And, uh, you close your eyes, and you hear a voice. My child. My lord. Tell Sand to stop swiping. <laughs> How are you? Well, all things considered, it could be worse, but could also be better. Tell me about it. We have run into many troubles. We've been able to solve some of them, but... I have seen many things that are alarming, conf confusing, and distressing amongst the people here. I understand. Some, some of them believe in prejudice and violence, and I cannot stand for that. I cannot, in any good faith, Watch them simply take life because they so deem it. But I'm unsure what to do because it appears that some of them will only respond to violence. And while it may be justified, I am unsure that it is always justified. And there's simply times I, I wish we could become invisible and solve these issues without having to resort to blows. You show great bravery, my child. And you are right. We do teach on healing and strength, goodness. But as you have seen, not everyone believes in such things you have no. shown great restraint and great judgment as you have followed my path for you I am proud of you I am glad I make you proud but I sit here and we find ourselves lost and unsure where to look next there's been a curse placed upon us that many of those who know us do not remember us uh you this is gone now yeah the oh, curse gone. is gone oh. okay I, mi I missed that session i'm sorry yep but there's there's just such great trouble and so many things that are ongoing that it seems like it's never ending that there's never peace. So there's never internal peace, external peace. Nothing seems to ever slow down. Well, I promise you, my child, I never forgot you. I'm grateful to hear that. No magics can remove you from my mind. That is... Fantastic to hear, but I sit here wondering now what what we should do, what we should, what is, what is next, what is, what, what is it that I, I must do? How to move forward, I think you're trying to th find the words for. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's an out of character. You are already on the right path, my child. You are to save a people. All right. Yes. That is the journey I set you on. I see. It is 
simply is it that we must just continue on our path and yes. see what comes along next and pay mind to the fact that we may be surprised by things that we have not yet come across. That is the way of life. I cannot give you all the answers. I see. But rest assured, you are following. You have followed my will very well. I see. This world is strange. It is. Filled with many peoples I have never seen and many others that feel strongly familiar to me yet who I've never quite come across before. Just trust in your friends. I shall. And with that, the the wind dies off and you open your eyes and find yourself back in the temple. And some of the the clergy in the temple are just staring at you in awe. You you were chosen by Paylor. And kind of like smile slightly. Perhaps I am, but are we not all somewhat chosen by him? Do Amen. We not all, do we not all have our own little journeys and quests that we must go on. Amen, my brother. Here, a, hand a gift from the temple. And they hold, hand you uh, two vials of holy water. And I, I take them and put a hand on their shoulder and say, do well. That is what we must do in this life. Simply do well. Be fair, be kind, be just, and understand that we do the best that we can. Read. All right. So uh, do I get a fun encounter with Saloon? Uh, not this time. You you got the warm hugging feeling, um, but uh, she does not talk to you this time. So then can I pray at least to thank her for sending me of course. what was her face? What was her name? Um Nephi? Yeah, Nephi. For sending her sending Nephi my way. Yeah. Yeah, so you go ahead and pray. And as you thank Saloon for that, you probably would hear just the faintest whisper. You're, you're not even sure if you really heard it or not. Uh, but just a whisper that says, I love you. Yay. So, yeah. I think I will also grab a holy water from the temple, if that's okay. Okay. You said it's 20, right? 25. 25? Mm-hmm. Well, and Nene, you may not need to purchase any, because clerics and paladins can perform rituals to make their own. I can make my own how? You can spend 25 gold worth of silver and basically purify water by means of silver through a ritual that takes an hour. Yes, it's either pay 25 gold now or uh, to just buy it and not have to do it yourself or... I think if there's a formal ability, it's called ceremony. Oh, Remember yeah, okay. I don't have it currently, but yes. Okay. Yeah. I'm just going to grab one, though, for now. Okay. What does holy water do? Uh, you can... Uh... Oh, yeah. Use it on undead 
enemies as a thrown weapon to do radiant damage if you don't have other means of doing radiant damage, among other things. You can also use it as a spell component for some spells, I believe. Uh, so yes, yeah, Ceremony is a first level spell, and one of the things you can do is bless water. You touch one by the water and cause it to become holy water. And it takes one hour to cast. Yep. Ceremony's cool. How many people use it? get married with it uh-huh yeah you can you can do all kinds of interesting things with ceremony there's also i think a tone is yeah. one of them when, when you get married you get a plus two bonus to ac mm-hmm. while you're within 30 feet of your spouse yeah there's some cool it's stuff with cool. ceremony that doesn't really get used much mm-hmm okay well we did the whole deity thing. Yep. And I I was kind of in the background and I did that I did my survival check just to see how well I was doing at crafting just because I wanted to know for myself. Mm-hmm. Um, but I would have offered Aurora oh, okay. a flower crown after he was having that talk with yeah, all the people in you, his You temple. definitely would have seen it as well, Jacqueline. Yeah, so I'm just kind of looking wide-eyed and just crafting flower crown and Handing it off. Okay. And probably making a smaller ring of flowers and putting it on the thing and then walking away. <laughs> yeah, cause th- this is really the first time you've actually witnessed. Um... Yeah, I witnessed an interaction with a deity. I'm just like, right. oh my god. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, you- you've heard Aurora talk to Paylor before. Uh, d- mm-hmm. But n- not like a back and forth conversation, but like there was the. The time when he uh, felt the tug of his god uh, at the beginning of right. the campaign. Right, I've, I've seen the cleric and the paladin and the party both pray. I've seen them kind right. of commune with their gods a bit, but... Yeah, but th- this, this was, was like a overt. step above. This was very overt. <laughs> <laughs> so, Aurora, uh, you, you've been handed a flower crown, and whether you choose to put it on your head, put it... And down as an additional offering or do something else with it is totally up to you. I'm sorry, I missed that. I had an airplane fly overhead, so. What was that? That's okay. Uh, after you had that whole encounter with Pelor and the yes. various people at the temple, I handed you a flower crown. <laughs> oh. You can either wear it, you can hand it off, you can put it down as an additional offering. The, the choice is yours. Saplin just witnessed yeah. that and needed to do something. <laughs> I shall put it on my head. Okay. All right. Um, because that seems the most appropriate. <laughs> okay. Giant Goliath with a flower crown on his head. Okay. <laughs> yep. All right. Uh, San, as for your pickpocketing of Ashitaka, you get two copper and a ball of lint. Ball lint. <laughs> he did not have much on him that you found with a 13. Either he's getting smart and hiding it, or getting smart and not carrying stuff because he knows Son's around. <laughs> I'm going to go with the second option for that. Could have <laughs> also like just not rolled well. <laughs> yeah, that too. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anything else you guys are wanting to do in town, or? No, I just want to head back to that hideout and go loot it. Okay. We also know the next place to go to find the Vistani is... If I had the map up, I, I, what, what's the next town's name? The next town is called Asuhai. I would like to kind of pull Son's sleeve if Son is anywhere near me okay. at any point. Okay, guys. We meet back up. Okay. And inquire as to who we would speak to to get information about Joram and what he's doing. I wonder if the. Uh, what, what are his movements? Has information. Let me grab Ashitaka. Hold on. I gotta find him first. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I need to go find Ashitaka and find out. Yeah, 
You go yeah, over like, to what, are, what are the whispers on the street? What is Joram doing? Is he making any moves right now? Hmm. Where does he hang out? You know, I should just take you with me. I could just be in the background. Okay. okay. We do know where the thieves' hideout is now here. Yeah, we need yeah, to go there too, moved. but... As long as I, he hasn't moved. I want to make sure Joram's not going to immediately try something else the second we leave. Hmm. And I mean, we don't necessarily all have to go and do whatever, but... I just want to make sure that it's in good enough hands that we can leave for half a day to go to the Thieves' Hideout and then come back and deal with Jorah. Yeah, sure. Like, is he going to lie low for a bit now that this has failed? Or is he going to redouble his efforts kind of thing? Alright, so you go... You guys find Ashitaka again. Oh, back already? Yeah, only for info. Don't get happy. Oh, 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 okay. No happy. Got it. Uh, what do you need? Lily? I'm gonna hand him two gold right off the bat. And be like... I'm gonna swipe oh. it back. <laughs> <coughs> you don't pay him I... up front. And he buggers off with the money and doesn't pay it back. We're asking him for info. Yeah, I I need to I need to bribe him. Um, but <laughs> uh I need to know about Joram. What is what is he doing? Joram. What is he planning right now? Because we think he was behind those assassins yesterday. Really? I I need to know if he's gonna continue to be a problem in the immediate future. Well Good character question. What was the name in the book? Of who Daya. hired. Or Yara, or something like that. It was... I have it written somewhere. Somewhere. Um, it was something... It, there was a Y in it. I know that much, I think. It was not Joram. It was one of his people. Okay. Uh, yeah, it was one of his followers. It was like his right-hand man. But then the letter... um, To them... To the Hazes was signed by Jay. Um, okay. Find it if you need. Yeah, because I wrote it somewhere. Somewhere. Uh, let me see if I have it. Zala. Yeah, Zala. There it is. Yep. Z a l a okay. is what I have written down. Um. Yeah, Zala was the one in the logbook, and the one that the contract was made out to. Uh, so, uh, you ask Ashitaka this question, and he's like, you know, there actually have been some whispers around about, uh, Joram. Uh, turns out, someone raided his secret lair, and, uh, killed all of his men. That like, something we don't brutal. Know. I'm gonna be like, okay, that's that's interesting news, but what about now? Well, I, I'm getting to it. I'm getting to it. <laughs> so, uh, Joram, seeing all this, and uh, I, I guess he lost something real valuable. Uh, he he was seen walking it out of town. Okay, so he's gone. Yeah. For now. For now. No one's seen him since. Which direction? Uh, um, my guys didn't see a direction. Just they—they they saw him leave town. Okay, I'll give him the two gold back. Thank you. Thank you. My pleasure. Well, Out of probably, character, I'm really want probably to good that right back. now. <laughs> What'd you say, Lily? Okay, so we're probably good for now. Okay. If he's booked it out of town. I don't really want to swipe that back. <laughs> you can try. You can you can definitely try. Twenty five. <laughs> yeah, I think she takes it back. Mm. Oh, let's see what he Some, gets. Maybe. 
It's a hard roll to beat, but if he's really perceptive. He gets a 21. Oof. I get it back. So, you get it back. Teaching me can't outswipe sound. <laughs> Need some gold. <laughs> As he walks away. Um... As you guys are walking back out, uh, or was there something else you wanting to do uh, in the thieves guild area, or just we got that? the forgery kit and stuff? So okay. yeah, I already have that stuff. All right. So as you're walking out, uh, someone kind of says, "Hey, hey, want to buy some goods?" Depends what they're selling. I got all sorts of things. How, how about the uh, we got a potion of bravery. Insight check. Alright. We really need to be do we really need potions to be brave? <laughs> um What I I mean if it's effectively a uh, potion version of heroism, then it's pretty good. If it's what he says it is. Alright, with a thirteen um he you, it's it's hard to tell if he's being legit or not. Uh, no, I'm definitely not telling anything. Um, but seven. Um, or or if you don't want that, uh, how about this amulet of luck? Another insight chart. Go ahead. I mean, we could just. Have detect magic up to see if these items have any magic on we them whatsoever. <laughs> we don't have stick with them. Yeah. So. Um, with a twenty, um, you you can tell there's something hinky here. I mean, I think we all kind of suspected there was something hinky here. This dude's accosting us on our way out to try to sell us goods. Or 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 uh uh, the, the only I I got normal slope detection. I'm just gonna pull out my venom dagger and just hold it out to him and say, "Wait, no, it really works here." Uh, he he puts it on a slope and it starts rolling. See, it detected the slope. It's a slope. Right, it works. It works. Why does he sound like Linus? <laughs> he does. I only have so many voices. Okay. <laughs> Start yelling stealth and ask him uh, some and, questions. And you, you take the, the potion of bravery to kind of look it over, and you give it like a sniff. It it smells like alcohol. Mm -hmm. Of course it is. <laughs> Too bad I don't have a flame sword. I'm just gonna pat him on the head. Or attempt to. I don't know how tall he is. And keep walking. I'm sorry, say again? I'm gonna pat him on the head and keep walking. Okay. <laughs> yeah, nice try. Uh, alright, so, you pat him on the head and leave, um, then later you kind of pat your pockets. Oh, I don't get to do perception in the moment? Uh, I'm doing it against your passive perception. Oh. Uh, which he actually rolled really well on this. Uh, and you're missing, uh, eight gold. Meh. He rolled I'll a let, 19. I'll let Thon know. Okay. But you otherwise, I'm, I'm not going to deal, deal with it. But I'll let Thon know if Thon wants to go swiping again to recover. I'll do more than swipe, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because I know that if I don't tell Thon that something got taken from me, I will hear about it later. Mm-hmm. Me, mm -hmm. can I head back? Yeah, you can head back. <laughs> okay. Let's go find the city. Up. All right, you head back to where he was sitting, and he is not there. I'm going to ask Ashitaka where the idiot is. Okay. Uh, so you managed to find Ashitaka. Uh, that guy again. Sorry, he... He doesn't... Here, here. He hands you ten gold. 
Okay. I won't go and kill him. Yeah, no, he... He's new. Mm -hmm. Hasn't perfected the scamming art yet. But he's got some good fingers. Good sticky fingers, as you could tell. Well, I'll tell him to stay away from me and my club. Can do. Otherwise, it's you that's going to get it in the neck. A kiss? No. Neck kissing now? Okay. Oh, huh? I mean, I, I said I didn't. <laughs> Bye. Yeah, I'm glad you weren't because I was about to pull out my dagger again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. So you got ten gold back out of the eight that got stolen. Does Son pocket it? What does Son do? I'll give it to you. Uh, you give me all ten, or are you just give me the eight? I'll give you all ten. Okay. Alright. So you gained two gold out of that. Yay! Alright. So it's now kind of midday. Um, As you guys are finally making your way back out of town. Um... You guys all we have get to gathered back up. Off anything with the uh, stable? Um. Well, Firedale, yeah, we, if you, you were intending to, to show up and roll horse. twenty, it did not. Huh? Somebody, uh, I I think Firedale, uh, tried to do a staff of striking attack that I saw in D and D Beyond. Oh, yeah, did not show up in roll twenty. Oh yeah. Huh. Probably didn't okay. have roll twenty open. Okay, so just re-rolling to add points back to the staff. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Oh yeah, I didn't do that for my staff of healing. Yeah. Yeah, I that. need to do that for the staff of the woodlands too. Yep. Okay. Yeah, you you guys can all do that easily enough. Um. So you all meet back up and head to the stables to retrieve your horse. Uh, your horse is. Um, and <clears throat> so you walk in, and the the guy who you gave your horses to is kind of like bailing some hay. And he doesn't seem to notice you yet. Okay, my staff is good. Ten, nice. Too bad I'd only full... spent two charges on that one. Yeah, that's full charge, though. <laughs> yeah, it would have been full charge. I'm almost full on staff of woodlands. I, I have two that didn't get refilled. Look at the nanny's horse. Their horse is amazing. <laughs> yeah, all right. All my stuff's updated now. Okay. Um so he he hasn't uh noticed you guys yet. What do you want to do? I'm just gonna go climb into the back of the car. Say say it again? I'm gonna go climb into the back of the cart with the uh, uh... Okay. Yeah, the cart is uh kinda sitting off to the side of the barn. Uh, or the stables, uh, but there, there's no horses attached to it at the moment. That's fine with him. I can get the horses. Okay. Should we have told the mayor that Joran left town before we leave Probably. town? Probably. Uh, we say that we did that, or do I need to use sending yeah, to do we, it real we can, quick? We can say that you guys did that. That's fine. Okay. I figured that was just a quick, it seems like Joram's left town, you should be okay for now, but be yep. careful. Yeah, you could easily get word to him. Um, and I'm kind of annoyed that Joram left town because that means we don't have a way to easily make it clear that Joram was falsely accusing tieflings. Yep. So I don't think we can resolve that and I'm really upset about that. <laughs> they do have all of the the uh the kids all the kids. kids and all the evidence down in the sewers so yeah i would ask the mayor to for the sake of any other tieflings that may roll into town because i'm not sure how many tieflings are left in town mhm mm 
that they clear that mess up. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the mayor said he was going to uh, complete an investigation, including the the sewers and uh, get statements and from did, all the kids and then make I a did request that Lilia keep days. Zone of Truth for the day. Yep. yep. So if that would have come into play at any point, they needed somebody truth spelled to be sure that they were not saying things. Okay. All right. Keeping so, it until we at least return, maybe we'll find Jorm on the way. Yeah, maybe so if it to needs the... to get used at any point, yeah. All right. So you're at the stables. Zahn went and got in the cart. And uh... I will approach the stable stable hand or All right. Do you say something to him, or do you just walk up to him? Be like, I think we're going to be heading out now. What's it? Are you oh, okay? Didn't, didn't hear you come in. Wait a minute. It's you! You lot! So you're finally back, huh? Paid for one night! And it's been two! We were... Sorry, coming sir. to settle up. Yes. Abandon your horses! No. Sorry, we kind of got into some of the drama with the mayor. Still no excuse. Horses have feelings too, you know. You owe me for two nights. Or one. Because you already paid for the first night. Speak with animals. Okay. Uh, so the 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 place the part you are in right now has no animals in it. This kind of. Uh... Yeah, but with the fuss he's putting up, I want to at least make sure that the horses felt well cared for after this. Okay. Um. What? What? Did... No. Okay. Fine. Because it's. It doesn't have a range. It's if they can hear me, and I yep. can hear them. Um. So yeah, here's a map of where you guys are at the moment. Um. So you cast speak with animals, and immediately you're hit with a bunch of voices. Mm -hmm. Bunch of horse voices. Uh, mm -hmm. you hear things like. Oh, I hope we have apples for dinner tonight. No, no, I... I hope we have carrots. Oh, it's been a while since we have carrots. You hear another one saying, Does this tail make my butt look big? All sorts of stuff. It's actually kind of overwhelming. Uh, because of the number Absolutely of voices. Absolutely worth it. <laughs> <laughs> Just totally to worth it. Totally <laughs> worth it. Uh... Um. Uh. So, the and I'll just call out. You doing all right? Um. <laughs> and probably get a cacophony of noise back. <laughs> God. <laughs> I've spoken oh, to gosh. our horses before, yeah. so this shouldn't be a shock to. <laughs> Our horses, yeah, your, your your horses wouldn't be shocked, but the rest of the horses hearing this, <laughs> and <laughs> and the guy standing in front of you just hears you probably go, <laughs> <laughs> sure, <laughs> and then looks very <laughs> bewildered and confused, <laughs> and he's just like, are, uh, "Are you all right?" And uh, I'll just look at him and be like, "Don't mind her; she speaks horse." Uh, uh, right, uh, and you would probably <clears throat> sort of be able to make out your horses, um, who would uh, you asked, "Are you guys all right?" We're fine. Has this guy been giving you any trouble? Uh, he gave us oats. 
Oats. And we made some new friends. All right, well, start saying your goodbyes. I think we're going to head out in a few minutes. All right. Um, And the, the guy's like, well, regardless of your horse talk, I still need still need the money. Yeah, I'll I'll pay him the rest you? of the money yep. and I'll and I'll kind of hand it over to him and kind of look him straight in the eye and be like, "Oh, just needed to make sure you did your job properly." Yeah. Horse abandoner. You you can tell he he cares very deeply for horses and doesn't like the thought of a horse getting abandoned. Uh, like he's not trying to be rude. He he's coming he's across failing. that way a bit. Yeah, he's coming across he's that way a bit. But um, y you can just tell that he's really passionate about horses. Um, I could also turn around and say, no, I'm saying this out of character to preface that he could also thank us for his mare not being dead. <laughs> <laughs> eh. Well. I'll go get your horses. He's going to make his way outside <coughs> and into the barn. Have we given our horses names? We should give our horses names. Don't we don't name so. the horses. We'll end up losing them at some point. Yeah. What the it's hell? The it's the rule. If you name the horses, they die. <laughs> <laughs> kind of slams the door behind him. Did they need a minute? He he's kind of got like, uh, so like some of his clothing is actually torn now, and he he's kind of like up against the door, kind of breathing heavy. He's like, "All right, good news and bad news. Uh, what do you want first? <laughs> Give us the bad, then the good. I think with all the commotion, I probably would have come back in. Okay. Uh." Well, y y your horses are fine. Uh, you're there, but uh, it it seems some owl bears have made their way into the barn. Did I hear the owl bears? Um, you probably they. It would have been hard to pick them out of all the voices. Okay. Um. You probably would have heard something, but it would have been a little hard to figure out. Did they out. answer when I asked? When, when they did not. Was, if that wasn't all right. Okay, they, they didn't did answer not. me. Nope. Specifically, uh, Speak with Animals works on beasts, so if, if owl bears are beasts, then the spell would be in effect for them. I or they're not, it would not. I was going to say they're monstrosities. Yeah, we had, so we had the, we had clarifying this, that for you. Yeah, yep. we had this discussion when the d, &D Okay, the then yeah, you wouldn't have heard them at all. Okie yeah. dokie. Yeah, you're right. They are monstrosities, so. Yeah. That's why I was bringing it up. Yep, this was a discussion that happened when we had when the D&D &D trailer dropped, and everyone was like, you can't do that. <laughs> not turn mm. into an owlbear. And they're like, oh, yes, you can. You just have to be 17th level. Oh, yeah, okay. You, yeah, you just gotta be real high level. <laughs> yep. All right. Uh, so apparently there are some owl bears in the barn. Wonderful. Okay. It, they, they, they can be there. That's fine. They did not like it when I came in. We gotta go kick some owl bear butt. Possibly. Um, can I ask him how many owl bears? Um, I can I, I call it to the horses and ask about the owl bears. Uh, yeah, you could <laughs> ask the horses. Uh, I I only saw maybe one or two. Says the says the the guy. Um, you're you're calling out to the horses though. Yep. Uh, the horse will be like, oh, that's the friends we mentioned. How many are there? There's two. Are they gonna be nice? They're to a us lovely too? couple. I want to like peek in because I don't uh, know what an owl bear looks. A bit like. territorial, though. Hey, Pika, if you want, will to they let you leave? Screen. Oh, I don't know. I, I haven't tried. 
If you want, open it. I have it open. Hold on. There's a fence in my way. I see. Okay, um... Monstrosities. I use message. Alright, um... Because that one's specific for a creature. Okay. Um, before that, uh, Sun rolled stealth to try and get a peek in. So that's what it is. Yeah. Um... And I'll let you get an owl. Bear with an owl's face. I'll let oh, you get a little cool. peek in. Yep. How does Firebutt do the picture in the thing? So that that's kind of the view you get when you peek in. You have in. to do display in VTT to get it to actually show the thing. So I wouldn't actually be able to stealth in and. It looks like there's an egg under the Aha. one. Mm -hmm. There we go. Hell there. Yep. Yeah, as soon as I have visual at all, I will cast message. But I would need visual. Okay. Probably, because it would have to go through a wall otherwise. Yep. Are there any other ways into the barn? Um, there are three doors leading into the barn. Okay. Which you so should be able to see on to the, the map. Door. Yep. Alright, I'll just tell Lily that there's an egg. Or, well, I can see an egg. So I'm gonna mm, see okay, so they're nesting. Fair enough. Uh, I'm gonna have to sneak in this way. Would tongues, I guess, would not let me speak to them, would it? No. Tongues um, lets you read in... It's a language. Or, yeah. Yeah, but I don't think uh, monstrosity or animal speak. Works with tongues. I couldn't speak with animals either and speak to them, could I? Correct. Oh, uh, speak, yeah, speak with animals, no, because they're monstrosities. Yeah, that's why I can't hear them and talk to them. Because I already have to speak with animals up, but they're not, uh, they're not beast. They are creatures, however. Which message might work if they're sentient enough to understand it. If they know common. It's Ouch. not telepathy, which is any language. Alright, that's kind of the view you get from there. Can we ask the horse to be our interpreter? Uh, the horses can't talk to it either. As far as I'm aware. Okay, do Correct. they have night vision? Well, the horses? Owls, no, the owls. Uh, probably. Owl bears. Bears. You're question. not sure? I, I would think so, but... Unless I use um, Cloak of the Bat, I can just fly in as the bat and unlock the uh, paddock. Gotta work out which one's it has. Well, I don't want the horses to get attacked if they walk out. Because well, it's possible it's possible they've not been attacked because they've been penned in. Hmm. Like, they were already there. And, uh, for the record, uh, this one that you saw is one of your horses. Okay. Um... Could we sell the horses to the owner and then use one of the patches? Because I'm pretty sure one of the patches has got horses in it. Well, we yeah, used we only one, have one already. Patch already. Yeah, we used one. So we only have one patch for a horse. Correct. Damn. And we need two. I don't. I don't want to leave the horses here anyway. No. No. So I'll message through and I'll try to speak to this one. Okay. Now that I can see a little bit. Mm -hmm. Check and message. messages creatures, so if they are able to understand common. Um, okay. So they. Just 
just hoping because monstrosities tend to be more intelligent. I'm just hoping. <laughs> it looks like they do not speak any language. Because they're usually fairly yeah, intelligent. They, they have no it language. Has, it has an intelligence of three. That's human level intelligence. There was no language for them, though. I think. Yeah, it, show, it doesn't show any kind of language for them. Oh, maybe they're not. Never mind. I don't know why we're Intelligence 3 being... Um... Yeah, I think 3 is... Beasts that seem clever is how they define it. Okay. Gotcha. Right. But I yeah, mean, so like, there's, a, there's a certain <laughs> tier for sentience. Right. So unfortunately, I do not believe message would work in this case. Okie dokie. It's a cantrip, so it didn't hurt to try. Can we ask the horse if it's smart enough to let itself out of the gate? I mean, it said that there was a fence in its way, so probably not. I mean, either way, we can't just leave these owl bears threatening this stable person. We need to come to a compromise with the owl bears so that they know that we're not going to interfere with their nest. I just got. I don't want to hurt the owl bears. Just because they're monstrosities, I don't think we could talk to them because of the uh, intelligence. There. Technically, I could okay. command them one at a time. That might work. You see, this one's again, just kind of it's just creature pacing around. I think I derped something. I What'd you derp? For a minute. I think I just got a tip, but I'm not getting an alert. Mm. Ah. I hate it when that happens. <clears throat> All right. Um. So, what do you guys want to do? Hey. Most of my stuff that's animal friendship and things are specifically for beast. I don't have anything that'll help against a monstrosity other than just straight up commanding it. Does anybody have anything that could work? Uh, I Stick. would like to cast Pass Without a Trace. Okay. I don't think I do. Does Stick have anything? So if y'all um, wanted to continue stealthing, you have plus 10. So I got plus stick. 20. I was going to try and stealth in the... I don't have stick has web. There. Yeah, but do you really want to web it and piss it off if it's got... Yeah, we don't want to hurt them. They're not doing yeah. anything wrong. Yeah, They're web just... would trap it. Yeah, you don't want to piss them off still. Yeah, um... yeah that that's probably the best thing he has for the situation. I don't have any invisibility. Otherwise, I would have snuck in. I don't have any either. Actually... Does anybody have invisibility? Yes. Could uh... I possibly have invisibility? I think it's only for myself. Also, didn't you grab an invisibility potion off of the... Uh... Yeah, mine is also... Uh... I thought someone else had it. I didn't grab it. I mean, I can cast you... invisibility once per rest, but it's concentration, so you get that or pass without a trace. You don't get both. Well, I already have a plus 10 to my stuff, so I'll take the invisibility. Well, I was going to offer pass without a trace because it's the entire party. Not just you. Oh, okay. But. <clears throat> who took the invisibility potions? I swore you're the one who grabbed it. No. I didn't 
crap. I thought you I thought you looted one off of the guy. Yeah, the the male assassin had I one. I forgot. That the male looted. assassin you looted it off of him. Lily, I just messaged you. Okay. Would that work? I forgot to add it. Sever, check your DMs, please. On Discord. Because Kellen has that. Uh, let me pull up the owl there real quick. I think he'd have to be a small one. Or smaller one. Right, it has to be similar sized. Mm -hmm. Large. Oof. Mm -hmm. Why did... Why am I having to approve it? Thank you, Severed. I don't understand why I had to prove it. No. Um, you can't make yourself... You can't appear as a creature of a Lock different a size than you. So since you are medium and it is large... Okay. Yeah. I mean, you could try to make a medium-sized is... one if you wanted to for rule of cool. I don't know if it would fool right. anybody. It also says you can't be... You can't... Make yourself quadrupedal, though. Right. You'd still have to be bipedal. Mm-hmm. Yep. But not quite. Yeah, unfortunately, it probably wouldn't work. Darn. Uh, Callan has nope. alter self. Which can change his appearance. <clears throat> right, but it's not, uh... It's not B-shape, and it's not polymorph, right. so it's not quite gonna let you do it. Right. Okay. Well, yeah, Callan what about that got crap. Test? He's got telepathy. But, once again, I think... They, they don't, don't speak think, a language, yeah, so... they don't speak a language. They would get impressions, but that's it. You wouldn't mm -hmm. necessarily get anything back. What about the, um... That image thing that you can do? Yeah, I can, I can cast an illusion. That's true. I also yeah. have fear, but I... Do we want to fear the owl bears that might just make them angry? And there's an egg. Yeah. Which yeah I don't want to endanger the owl bear egg. That seems terrible. That seems like a horrible idea. Yes. I could try to cast command on it. If it's got a low intelligence, chances are it'll it won't uh, it won't be able to break it. But I can only get one at a time. And it's one word command, so I can't just tell him like I could I could tell one of them to halt, I guess, would be the closest thing, but I can't tell them to to leave with the egg. I could tell them to flee, but again, I can't tell them to leave with the egg, and I don't want them to leave the egg there, and I don't think they would leave the egg there. Mm. Yeah, no. So I don't think that's gonna work either. I'm still tempted to just try and sneak in there and see if I can. I mean, him. you totally can. Mm. I figured it out. Good. Right. It was a tip, and uh, I had manual approval on. I don't know. That'll do it. <laughs> so I fix. Okay, yeah. apparently I forgot to add the invisibility potion to my stuff. So, I'll use the invisibility potion. Okay. Yeah, I just really don't have anything good that I can do. So I need stealth. Alright, so... Um, just stealthing. It's all, all I have. Alright, yeah, so go ahead and roll stealth with uh, advantage, since you are invisible. Right, a 23. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. You're able to sneak in through the door without being spotted. Okay. Um, I'll right, reveal which the ones rest. Are asked? The two black? Yep, the two black ones. Okay, so I want to sneak over there. 
and uh, prop open the gate. Yeah, are you gonna make me roll a uh, sleight of hand? Uh, yeah, roll sleight of hand. Okay, you're able to open the gate without it squeaking or anything. Mm-hmm. And I'm pretty sure Lily would. I keep saying Lily. It's Saflin. I'm pretty sure Saflin can see what I'm doing, so she could let them yeah. know. Carefully. Yeah, I'd be keeping keeping the horses updated so they don't get spooked. Okay. Good thing you said that, because I was just about to roll to see if they got spooked. <laughs> okay. Yeah, basically telling the horses, unfortunately, I don't think your friends are going to take too kindly to us. So I'm going to send one of our party in Invisible to open the gate for you, and I want you to try to leave. Oh. Well, they seem very nice. Are you sure? They didn't seem to like the uh, stable hand who's been taking care of you when he walked in. Oh, fair enough. Oh, they, it opened. Do, do do we go? Where do we yep. go? Which way? Away right. from away from the owl bears. Away from, to the right. Or, or uh, that way then. Left. Okay. Well, Easiest way to put it is away from because they're here and here, so they're gonna go this way. Alright, so they'll come out. Uh, I'll roll some stealth for them. They both get 15s, which is pretty good. <laughs> so they are able to get out. Great. All right now, I'm gonna st now I need to get out. Mm hmm. You still have the additional plus ten, so you have no. a minimum of twenty. Now where do we go? Just do we keep going? I'll come. I'll come and uh. Stand by this corner. All right. Be like, hi, friends. This way, please. Oh, there you are. How oh. long does invisibility last? It's concentration, so you can end it I'm prematurely it. whenever you'd like. Otherwise, it would last up to an hour. Yes. I'm keeping the Okay. Yeah. So I would like, I would we'll lead the horses this ahead. way. I really want to poke more. You're gonna bother Morrow while invisible? Hell yeah. Gotta okay. get some entertainment somewhere. I gotta go scare Callan too. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, so I so I would basically lead the horses back towards our group. While they're doing that, debating whether a whether... poke would be considered an attack. It's hmm. more, I, it's more <laughs> on the head. No, I don't. I don't How about attack. a tickle instead of a no, poke? I, I, I want to stand behind Callan and like blow in his ear. Wait, uh, <sighs> in wind, it's crazy in here. And then I'll poke him. And, in the and back. then with Callan. Ah! What was that? Guys, I think there's another another ghost in here. Ban it's a banshee? Banshee? <sighs> Something touched me! <laughs> oh, God. Wait, who left? <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna... <laughs> He's going to get his uh, sling out and like. Well, uh, put you're a only invisible, kinda... so you still have a sound and you still have a smell. So somebody could try to find you that way. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Uh, so so Callan has his uh, sling out, like ready to attack something. Yeah, I'm gonna duck. And then Where place him it? in the leg and move. 
and he flings it. Uh, he'll do at disadvantage. Does a 13 hit? No. I've got an AC of 18. Alright. So, it flies into the stack of hay. Did I get it! I have, I have a question. Out of mm -hmm. character. If I'm invisible, what about Luffy? Would he be invisible on me? Anything or... you're carrying. Yeah, anything you're carrying, so yeah. Ah. I wanted to freak Callan out by holding Luffy out in my hand. A floating Luffy coon. A floating Luffy coon. <laughs> I mean, if you're trying to get Luffy coon killed, that's a really good way to do it. No. You Just really saying. Think, you really think Callan would kill Luffy coon? If he started with, with it, he might. The evil he entity has it. somehow escaped your grasp. I think some people would try to take it out. <laughs> it's not evil. I would not put right, anything Nihon. past Callan. They are evil. It's the alignment. <laughs> I don't care. Luffy's not evil. I'll just jab you know at Callan. All right. I'll just did, jab at Did Callan you guys take? So the the stable hand is gonna say, it... "Did you guys take care of the owl bears? What? What's going on? We got we got our horses out. That's it." <laughs> Uh, to, we need. Uh, okay. It looks like the the owl bears, from what I can see, are nesting back there. There's an egg. They're nest. Lovely. So that's uh, not good. If we can find a way to safely relocate them, because Saplin is just remembering that encounter that we had on the road. With the turtle eggs. Mm -hmm. And how those were a delicacy. And is thinking to herself, I don't want to know how high the price of owlbear eggs go on the market. I do not want to know. <laughs> um, I am not sure. And the stable hand would not know that either. Yeah, I don't I don't want anything to happen to this egg. I'd rather they be relocated if at all possible. Okay. Does San know? Nope. San don't know nothing. Uh nope, San doesn't well, I mean, know. I mean I don't I don't think that would be history. Probably be nature if anything. Nature? Lore about terrain, plants, and animals. Um, it's not any better. Well, Lilia would know. All right. So, what what are you trying to figure out with the nature check? How much? The I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> if owlbear eggs are a poaching target, essentially, um, they could be. I mean, eggs in general are well sought after and the bigger the egg the better so don't tell ashitaka got it um, yeah if we want the <coughs> owlbear family to remain intact it's probably for the best why the why don't that... why don't you all roll a history check for me real bad roll Hey, oh, Son did really well that time. Me not so. Eh. It's probably because I was messing with Cal, and that's why I wasn't thinking hard <laughs> enough. Oh, Curio rolled. Yeah, Callan is probably the most historically minded of all of us. Mm -hmm. True. If he's an end caster. Hey, meteor, oh, do you know that, the answer Wait, what to the heck? Question? Nope, that's wrong. That is an what? incorrect roll. That, that is was not supposed to be plus, plus 56. six, not fifty-six. So yeah, he would have a 25. Six. Yeah. Uh. Damn. <laughs> was hey, Meteor? Funny. Yeah? There's a question in my chat. Do you know the answer to it? Uh, let me check. 
there a way to add physical D&D books to D&D Beyond? Not yet. There you go. Uh, so that was actually one of the things that D&D uh, talked about what in D &D their, is trying to do, yeah. their drop yesterday. Um, so they are working on making it so that you can add your physical books to D&D &D Beyond. Uh, but it's probably going to be another uh, year before that happens. I mean, I think the formal launch is, what, 2024? Yeah, 2024. <clears throat> so they're working on that, but at this point, no, you cannot. But I they know everyone wants to, because they don't want to have to I... buy the book twice. <laughs> I guess they're going to start maybe putting access codes in physical copies so Probably. you can redeem the book online, maybe? Be the easiest way. All right. Uh, so, San and Callan, uh, you both might remember something from last night that may help in this situation. Oh. Um, involving uh, Sturges? The fly thingies that we killed. Uh huh. Don't Where'd they come from? We pet shop. shop. Came from the pet shop. An exotic animal shop. Okay, can we just point that out to the guy and then can we leave? Uh, yeah. If that's it's what you guys want to do. It's it's his problem, not ours. I got the horses. Not that. <laughs> so that's what you're gonna do then. He's just going to hear a voice say, go to the pet shop in town. Exotic animal shop. Exotic animal shop. Yeah, yeah. yeah the animal shop owner might be able to help you. Oh, over the by the... Over... There, there's a fountain, and it's it's close to the... To yes. The, Pavilion. That's the one. Pavilion. Yeah. There's exotic animal shop. They, they should be able to take care of this pretty easily. I'm surprised Callan oh, didn't <laughs> freak out because he just suddenly heard my voice. Oh, he probably did. <laughs> <laughs> it, it probably didn't register because uh, he recognized your voice but then like after saying all this he can and be then like, he's like oh wait that person wait. physically isn't here what who said that I'm just gonna lean in real close and go me no, no! <laughs> what the heck <laughs> <What is it? laughs> ow Sorry. <laughs> Turning you way down. <laughs> Sorry about that. Users. <laughs> Where is Callan. the ears command? We need it. <laughs> Callan. Uh oh, did Curio yep, get work. startled as well? He's just he's just testing. Don't worry about it. Okay. Uh I hope he's just testing. Not he he just said in, in yeah, the chat. Yeah, he did. He's testing. Okay. Uh, okay. Um. All right. So the stable hand will take your advice. Say, all right, I'll I'll have to do that. I'll have to, I'll have to go. Uh, yeah, I I can do that. I can do that. I really like freaking. You don't have much of a business right now. Uh -huh. <laughs> We take our horses now. Yeah, yep. You can grab your horses and be on your. And way. I will say that to the stable hand so that he knows that we oh, have them. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, you you got your hut. Yeah, go. Uh, sorry. How much did I owe him for the additional day? Um, I forget what we said. Let's just say five silver. Okay, I don't know if I wrote that down. I may have. But we can go with five silver. All right. So you guys gather up your horses, attach them back to your cart, and head back out onto the road. And you guys are heading to back towards the cave, right? Yep. Son grabs Callan by the back of his shirt and drags him out. He's got me! Help! I'm just gonna laugh the whole time <laughs> I'm walking out. He's going 
to pull out an immovable rod, turn it on, and just hold on for dear life. And it sort of yanks you back because you're not expecting it. God damn it, Callan. Help me! Callan. What? Sorry. Wait, what? Callan. I took an invisibility potion. Son? Oh, uh -huh. for Pete's sakes! <laughs> thought you were a banshee! Why would a banshee gonna... attack you in the middle of the day? I don't know! We've been attacked being... by one before! That was and it was night. at night. True! I'm just gonna flick him in the forehead and go no. him in the cart. <clears throat> He's gonna turn off his rod and store it away again. I uh, forgot we had those rods. Uh-huh. Yeah, he's got one, and I think Saplin has the other two. Okay, I'm done freaking Callan out now. That was Alright, so you guys get back in your cart, and you head on your way. Um, the trip back to the cave um, takes about a half a day, so it's getting towards night by the time you get there. Um, and let's see. There we go. So we're back at the lair. Mm -hmm. And we know the code to get in. Yep. You know the code to get in. So you walk up something. Seems a little off. Uh, you you could have sworn you pulled the bush back. Someone's been there. In front. Someone's been in. Uh, and maybe this is where the John door ran. seems to be open. Oh, great. Guys, look. Yeah, John. Shh! You don't notice him. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, out of, out of character, I notice him. <laughs> yeah, I out of character. Had not, I was not actually looking at the map, so I hadn't seen him. I was just conjecturing this is where he ran. <laughs> okay. I actually had it? not seen him. Yep. I plan on going in, so who else is going yep. with me? So, yeah, you, you guys are like certain noticing, you, you closed this back the, up and. Yeah. Yeah, noticing that the door is disturbed, I will cast Pass Without a Trace again. Okay. So that we can stealth in. So everyone gets a plus 10 to their stealth rolls. Plus 20 for me. Yay. Alright. I feel like saying to them, can you guys wait here and I'll see if I can go and look. Because if I can, I could probably just sneak up behind him and stab him. Well, Out of character. Ideally, we'd like him to pay for his crimes, not with his life. I would like or not immediately out, with his life. him up and bring him back. Yeah. He should face justice. I could grab him <laughs> with my tattoo and knock him out. I got blinding powder too. That's probably sufficient. I think bringing him back to face justice would be better than us being judge, jury, and executioner here. Absolutely. I think Aurora would probably agree with that. I'm not even going to look Absolutely. at Aurora. Absolutely. Because I know Aurora will tell me off this stuff. We need to take him back, is what we is need Aurora to do. Is Aurora back yet? No, I don't think so. He went to get food. Okay. All I know is I want to loot, loot the place. I'll just hit the back. Well, well I'm going to also stealth in. Okay. Let's take care of Jorm first. Okay. Before we loot. Yeah, I think uh, Callan will come in too. He's got so pretty I good stealth. 10, so it's 22. Stealth. <clears throat> Mara's probably going to come in. Yes, that's a 22 stealth for me. Callan I've gets a 20. A... Add 10 to whatever you roll from Pass Without a Trace. Yep. 27. 16 for Lilia. Okay. But I am also... Where is it? Going invisible. Invisibility. Okay, well, you would 
technically have needed to do that before you stealth to get the advantage. So. Well, let's just say I did then. You did it now. Okay. Yep. And then stealth. Hello. We doing stealth. Hello. Welcome back. Yep. Looks like right, Joram's so here, but Nihon, we don't know that. Um, were you here for any of the owlbear stuff? No. There are <laughs> owlbears nesting in the stables. We yes. saw and stealthed in and released our Living horses, and I directed them out. So the owlbears are still there, but we have our horses back. Hooray! We directed and then we... the uh, guy to go to the exotic magic shop for help. Exotic pet shop, yep. yeah. Yep, yeah, we, we yep. basically said yeah, this pet. is you need to deal with this. This is who you talk to. Bye. We gotta go. <laughs> and we left. Because uh, I couldn't think of a way to safely get the owl bears out without harming them, and I didn't want to do that because there was an egg. Bleeding yep. bleeding heart. <laughs> yep. Alright. And anyway, now you we guys got to the yep. We got to the uh, Assassin's thing. Lair, right? Yes. And the door was disturbed, so now we are stealthing in. To find out why it was disturbed, and then we had above board talk about Son could go in and stab Joram in the back. But then we'd prefer to, to bring him back to the town alive to face justice rather than act as judge, jury, and executioner. Got it. Which we thought Aurora would agree with. Yes, I would. Yeah, I said I didn't want you telling me off again. <laughs> but yeah, I'm That's following right. behind. We already know how all these doors open because we've done all this before. Yep. Mm -hmm. Alright. So, continuing. Trailing behind here. So, yep. I think Callan would take a look over this way. I'm yeah, I mean, y'all can go start food. start going for stuff while we're in here, but I'm still kind of following behind Son at a distance to back up. I don't see anyone Cause over I, there. Because I do have command in a pinch. Uh, I'm going to use Morrow's sense of smell. Because we know where he is, but yeah. <laughs> okay. Morrow, sniff him out. Alright. Uh, yeah, with a 20... Uh, he would be able to tell you that he's coming from Shit. over here, yeah. for sure. I'm mainly just trying to look around and see what else has been disturbed in the rooms as we pass through. And I only rolled a 10, so. Oh. oh. Um. Looking around to see what else is disturbed. Uh, right, to see oh, if I... anything else is additionally is missing, if other Even doors have with been a left 10? open. Since you've been here before, and yeah. know Lilia, what I think to expect here. Well, um, Lilia, were you looking at the same thing I was, or were you looking, looking for what Looking to see was? if anything is disturbed. Yeah. Okay, okay. So, so same check. Yeah. So e even with the 10, but definitely with the 26, um, mm -hmm. things do appear to be missing. Okay. Um... It Does looks... it look like a large number of things are missing, like more than the two assassins would have used? Yes. On their recent excursion? Okay. So he's armed. Got it. Um, well, or he's stalking up. It, it looks up. like someone's been clearing this place out. <laughs> yeah, he's stalking up. Damn it, that's my job. Uh, do we have another bottle of invisibility? <laughs> no. No. No, we use that. I thought... I thought both of them had one each. No, she one used of them hers. used it. Ah, crap. The female used it. Okay. Um. I'm trying to think. I still have the uh, cloak of the bat. Yeah. So I could turn into a bat and fly in and see what he's doing. And uh, we th also this door is things. open by the way. Okay. You, you can from where you are you can probably like faintly hear uh, him going stupid freaking puzzle how do you do this? Uh, 
Am I missing pieces or something? What the heck is going on? Saflin is going to use Disguise Self. Um, and probably would have given you back the hat at this point. Son, mm. now that we're out of town. Okay. It, uh, I probably would have re-equipped it. So you could reattune it? Curio Son already used the potion of invisibility for the sure. elbows. Yeah, and I'll and I'll use my my feet or my uh my racial trait for disguise self. Damn it. Uh what could I take off for the hat? Okay. Where is my hat? What are you disguising yourself as? I'm disguising myself as one of the assassin twins. No, oh, no okay. Where's my hat? Which one? Glance over at Son, so somebody somebody who can pair up to be the other one. Um, um my hat is missing. Mm-mm. Well, that's problem you probably took it off your character sheet when you gave it to me. Oh no. You may just it. need to re add it. It it was in my backpack. Aha, there you go. So I will take off my ring of protection for a minute. Which is gonna suck, but I need the other two. Okay. Um... Guys, self, you make yourself, including your clothing, armor, weapons, and other belongings on your person, look different. Okay, and I will have disguise. No, it does not change no, voice, no voice, but I don't necessarily need to speak. Yeah, I'll I'll go with mask. Disguise. Yeah, you could parrot mask if somebody had that. I've got parrot mask, but we never put it. it we would have needed to put it on them. Right. Yep. But does he know what their voices sound like? That's the thing we don't know. He may not. I could probably pull off a guy voice. No. But yeah, but... I'm I'm disguising as the female assassin. I'm invisible, so. And okay. as soon as I know that someone is, uh, I'm going with you. backing me up. Okay. So, Saflin's disguised as the girl, Son is disguised as the guy. Mm. Yeah. Wait, and I want to be ahead of Curio. Uh, for the record, Wait. Curio, that door is open. Yeah, so you <coughs> would probably not be right there, because he will see you. There you go. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, so we would be kind of leading the way here. Alright. And I don't necessarily need to sound like them very much, but we did hear her speak to the mayor. Yes. So Saflin will attempt to mimic. She is a performer. There's a chance. Um, okay. And she'll just go, <clears throat> and kind of clear her throat loudly. All right. Uh, roll me a performance check. See how well I you mimic her voice. I knew that was coming. Her voice. Really low for me. Jeez, that was a two. Um, I'll I'll give you advantage on this one. Yeah, mine's not that good. Still not 15. much better. Um, it, it it's better though. <laughs> Do I get advantage too or not? Uh, well, are you trying to speak yet? No. It's deception. Only... Okay. Oh, it'd, it'd be, be deception. Be... Oh. I'll let well, you roll better. either. Yeah, I'll let you roll either. I mean, my bonus is better for performance, but I rolled better on deception. Yeah. <laughs> just, just straight up rolled better on it. I, I think, Saflin, <laughs> uh, for you, it would probably be performance with the advantage, and for uh, Sun, it would be deception. Um, okay. Um, I would have liked to use that 22, but that's fair. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably just going to keep my cup shut. <laughs> Okay. And I will give San Bardic inspiration before we walk in. Hello. Hi, Hi Firedale. Hello. So Bardic inspiration that. You can add one d eight. 
to an ability check, attack roll, or saving throw. Ooh, I got an eight. Yeah, mm -hmm. Performance that makes though. sense for the voice. So, yeah, so so I can eight. see that. Yeah. So that's a 17 deception then, with you adding the eight? Mm. Okay. Uh, yeah, those are pretty decent rolls. Um, I'm hoping he's too shaken to really look too closely. So you, you kind of clear your throat, <clears throat> and he kind of does a little jump, like, oh, and turns around. It's like, Rupert, Grinnell, you're, you're back. Hi. Saffle's just gonna raise an eyebrow. Um, how you doing? <laughs> uh, the... I'm just gonna like walk around the room to go and look at the stuff. D does this mean you uh? Did you kill the mayor? Did you kill White White Horse? Um, why why are you? Look, look, I, I know I've taken some of your stuff. The, uh, right. Um. Saffron is doing that thing. Where you intentionally just look at them and don't talk so that they try to fill the silence. Right. Mm. And that, that's kind of what he's doing, too. He He's getting yeah. very nervous at the not talking. The look of disappointment. Do you think we would fail? Yeah. That look. Mm-hmm. Um. He's, uh... <clears throat> Is that a table next to me? I'm just going to slam my hand down on the table. <laughs> Intimidation. Alright, so you do that and let's see. Sorry, give me one second. I'm All also right. confused. I got asked stop, so soft or stabby, and I don't know what to answer. Both. <laughs> Best of both worlds. He is going to cast Hypnotic Pattern. Saf. I none of us have Counterspell. Um, let's see. Basically so, trying the spell that stuns us and stand, makes us stand in place transfixed while it's up. Yep. So Same thing that happened Saflin. in the sewer. Uh, Lilia, are you looking in the room? Looking, I'm guessing, into you, but not at him. Okay. Alright, so then San, Saflin, and Lilia. Oh, great. Oh, y'all didn't hear me. It's a 30-foot cube. Yep, 30-foot cube. Just look at it is what counts. Right. But so it has to be, to be in the area yep. inside the cube. Yep. And he's going to cast it right in the center of the room. Well, I mean, we're not looking in the middle of the room, but yeah. Uh, it, it fills up the entire area, though. What the entire 30-foot cube. Yeah. Probably a wisdom save, yeah. Yep. Uh, so, yes, a wisdom saving throw. Uh, uh, DC... Let me double check something. Uh, it won't affect Lilia, Meteor. 14. Lilia is outside of the room. Oh, is yep. well, it? Well, it's the 30 foot cube. It has to be cast, and then the people inside the cube that can see 
Yeah, it has are, to be people within the radius, not people yeah, looking at Yeah, so the only it. people yeah. you can hit are Saphine and Song. Lilia's in the radius. No, any people here. 30 can foot. See. Cube. Okay. Yeah, but... 30 foot cube. Oh. Yeah. And Lilia's definitely within 30 feet of the center of this room. I literally it's not missed. a radius. It's a it's a cube with a side that's thirty oh. feet long. Oh, it's not I a see what you're so saying. So fifteen, 15. correct? Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Oh, so I'm okay. safe then. Okay. You're barely safe. Yeah. Yeah. If you wanted to hit Son and Safi, it cannot hit Lilia. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, she's literally two okay. squares away from the maximum that, it could be up there. That was a good call. I definitely was doing radius. It's really easy to do. I've done no. it before, too. <laughs> All right, so Son, you save. Uh, uh, I'm still waiting on Saflin. Sorry, I was making sure that my ring of protection was reattuned, because I would have reattuned it when I yeah. dropped the hat of disguise. Are you immune no. to charms in any way, Safi? I'm a tiefling, so no. Uh, you have the charm wand. I have counter charm. I have the charm wand. I'm not the only target. Ah, uh, yeah, charm wand. Charm wand only, only triggers via oh, the only wait. target. That's true. I get advantage against being charmed. Yeah, but you made the save already. He said so. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So you can roll again if you want. <laughs> I mean, I, I have counter charm, say. but I didn't uh, use it before we walked in. Oh no. And it's one of those where you have to know you're going to be charmed, so you have to uh, run for. It's annoying. Alright, so Son uh, saves even more now. <laughs> mm -hmm. So yeah, it's definitely just... Yeah. I'm probably going to roll poorly oh. again. Yep. Always. So you are charmed, and you are also incapacitated and have a speed of zero. That's fine, I'm not needing to move anywhere. Mm -hmm. So he... I just can't do anything until I'm shaken out of it. Um, or if you take damage. Yeah. Well, that would shake me out of it. <laughs> so he casts Let me it double and... check this. Yeah, it's not going to make a difference, but yeah, the ring of protection is not adding to the saves. So I just need to remember to add one. It's not going to matter here. Mm -hmm. Seven's real bad. Eight's not better. <laughs> All right. So he's going to, at, like, as soon as he casts that, before even checking if it worked or not, he's gonna try and try and run. Run. I'm grab yep. him. Like so when you... he gets to here. Yep. You. Yeah. You get a. Son gets an attack of opportunity. Correct. You get an attack of opportunity once he tries to leave your range. Yeah. And as he's coming towards me, can I surprise attack him <laughs> since I'm invisible? Well, we gotta get there first. So hold on. First. I was gonna step in front of him, grab him. And like slam him back into the door. Um, well, you have you have an attack, so yeah. make make that work in an attack action. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll rule of cool that if uh, <laughs> you land the attack. Damn it! Now I've got to choose an attack that's not gonna kill him. Uh, I'll just use a plus. I'm one sure he either. probably has. More I mean, you could use an unarmed strike. You, you can to... do any attack with any weapon. And mm -hmm. say you're not going for a vital organ with the intent Correct. to not kill. Okay. That way it's not lethal. an instant, they just die if you do enough damage. It's Correct. you're intentionally trying to leave them alive. You can okay. do that for any attack, unless it's specifically something that you can't do that with. Like, if you're throwing a fireball at somebody, you can't really control how that affects them. Okay, so could but I weapons, control you're all good. dagger of venom? Yeah, weapons are all yep. good. Okay, then yeah, I'll use my... Alright, go ahead dagger. and roll an attack. 21's definitely gonna hit. Roll for damage. And... Yeah, that's one of those things that they Ooh. kind of gave wiggle room for. for I don't believe addition. you get the sneak attack because I'm incapacitated. So right. you only get the rest of it. If he's not expecting the and attack from her, he, she'll get the sneak he, attack. Yeah, he wasn't expecting yeah, me to that's move. True. So... Okay. Yeah, she gets it anytime she has advantage. All right, so he needs to roll. He needs to roll con, con save. Mm -hmm. For poison, right? Mm. Yes. Constitution mm -hmm. save with a DC of 15. He fails it. He has failed it. He so is he takes 30 damage. 
So he's going to take 30 damage, yeah. So yeah, I'll slam him up the wall with the dagger and just say, you dare her. What's her name again? Gretel? Grenel? Grenel. Yeah, Grenel. I feel my wife. <laughs> well, we don't know that it's his wife. Because we sis. didn't hear that dialogue. My companion. My partner. Yeah. You dare hurt my partner. These are things Son uh, would know to say even if we as the players don't. Mm. When, when did I hurt her? <laughs> Can I just like reach back and tap Saffron? Or at least kick her with my foot so she can move. Try to knock me out of it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll do that. Just step on my foot really hard. Hmm. <laughs> We're assassins. You really think we're that stupid? Uh, Meteor, it's up to you if that actually breaks it or not, or if she has to do a unarmed yeah, strike. Normally, to do it. they have uh, yeah, to do use an... an actual action, action, or uh, do yeah. Damage. If you want to break her out, you'd have to do an unarmed strike. For sure. Either that or Lilia could sneak in and tap her in the back. Yeah, yeah but if I'm coming in, I'm in the room, right? With the, the effect. The effect effect's gone. It's a oh. flash. It's a flashbang. Yeah. Yep. yeah, it was it was only at the time that it was cast. Yep. And you uh, don't have consistent. to do damage, you can also just use an attack <coughs> to sh I mean an action to shake them out of it. So yep. instead of attacking, you do that. You can literally just shake my shoulder. Yeah. But so it takes I can an action. Shake, but I won't be I'll still be invisible, right? Then took on the back of her top. Yeah, it's not it's not an attack, so you wouldn't break Yeah, it's break not an attack, so you can shake and still remain invisible. Mm -hmm. So I'll sneak in and try to... I'll actually... Hmm. Wiggle yeah, her head to... so it looks like she's snapping out of a daze. Yeah, or I'll, like, shake her kind of, like, in a circle, like... like... So she's kind of, like, woozy and then just, like, Get her to kind of snap out of it. I mean, any large movements are going to attract attention. I wouldn't make me turn fully around. That seems like, unwise. Kind of, no, I, I meant like... She's you know trying how, like, to stealthily shake you out of it. You yeah. know how like when you're dizzy, how you do that like little circular kind of like... Literally all you need to do is shake my shoulder. And that's not super obvious. Okay, then mm. I'll shake your shoulder. <laughs> get you to wake up. Doesn't need to be overly complicated. Especially considering currently face to face with somebody else. Yeah. Stabbed him pretty hard. He's probably distracted. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If okay, anything, so I might lose my footing for a second, which would not be unusual. So. I'll shake you. You shake your shoulder then. Okay. Okay. And then take a step <laughs> back. Oh, wait, wait. Am I wait. no longer incapacitated? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Before any of that had to happen, Meteor, he has to make a concentration check. Oh, that's true. Because the hypnotic pattern, pattern the effect would die. Of the charm is concentration. Oh, that's yeah. true. So if he fails concentration check, it breaks anyway. Oh, true. Uh, concentration check. Um... Well, then I'm moving myself what back do I have to, to the door then. Uh, half the damage, I believe. Half the damage taken or something like that. Uh, if you take damage, you must make to maintain the DC equals 10 or half the damage you take, whichever number is higher. So he yeah. has to make a DC 15. 15. Okay. And it's a con save for concentration checks. Okay. Constitution. Yep, constitution. He fails. Yeah, so He's... you didn't okay, have to step have... into the room to start with. She is... Okay. okay. Good call. She's out of it then. I'm yeah. not. I... Yeah, so I'm I'm back without a problem. I'm still in the hallway. Because yeah, that can affect whistling. actions and stuff. Because actions are important. <laughs> right. Yes. Sorry about that. No, it's good. Okay, so okay. I haven't pinned up the wall. 
Apparently okay. I'm so we need an to knock him out. Well, you just took 30 damage, so... Well, we also need to roll initiative at some point. I think. Uh, Unless <laughs> this is not combat. You can count this as a surprise round before actually. Yeah, this, yeah, this, this, this would be a surprise round. Okay, mm -hmm. so I get to go again. Yeah, uh, if you to want now. to turn it into that, that's a few meter. You got to yeah. cast sleep? I do not have sleep on me right now. I do not have that prepared. So, so far what's happened is you've uh, slammed him up against the wall um, and Saflin has snapped out of it. Mm-hmm. So where are you going from here? I am casting command. All right. So I'm gonna expend um, a charge from the staff of Charming. Let's go ahead and roll initiative then. Okay. Before I do command. Yeah. That that is why I was bringing it up. Yep. Yeah. Because if it's a surprise I round, I would get to go. Otherwise, I wouldn't. Wow. All the low rolls. How the hell did it's not too, too bad. One? I need to take the feat that lets me always get a top initiative. I did not have my token to... selected, so I'm going to have to be added to the turn tracker this time. Self selected, surprisingly. Okay, uh, Saflin got a 15, Curio 9. Yeah, Curio's low this 17. time around. Uh, Cal and I haven't done yet. Sun is a 5, Lilia 18. Cowan gets an 18. I'm pretty sure his dex is better, so he's going to have 19. Why, what is his dex? Uh, his dex is uh, 15 is plus 2. I'm plus 2 as well. Yeah, 15 mm -hmm. is, if you want to count it, 2.5. Uh, what, what's what your total your score? Dex, 15 yeah. plus 2. So mm -hmm. yeah, they're even there. Oh, that. So rollies, roll yeah. off. Yep, so roll a d20. Okay, I guess you're going first. <laughs> Yay! You're she wants to use that as her attack. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> going before him, at least. Okay. Has everybody rolled Break initiative? That. Yeah. We have a cow on initiative? Uh, yep. Yes. Okay. He got an 18. That That's what the rollies was for. That was for Callan. Okay, yep. so yep. we don't have uh, Joram's initiative yet. All right. Yeah, did you roll for Joram? I did. Yes. Is he did not roll it creature? digitally. Yeah, it it does that in the tracker automatically. Is he I'm unknown creature? Uh, yeah. I don't know why it's saying unknown creature. Because um, he didn't name the token. Okay, so okay. Because you didn't name the token, and it's not a monster. Oh, I actually do have it from named. D and D Beyond. It's an NPC. It's a human opponent. At least you did get your sneak attack in, so you technically went first. Mm-hmm. Just means he gets to go now before I get to do anything, which. Yep. Kind of sucks, but I mean, that's life. Mm hmm. Playing rain again? All right. So, question for y'all Do you want to keep going or end it here? Um, Nika yeah. doesn't have to work. I don't have Nihon? to go to work, but I do we have can... to go out oh. tomorrow. Okay. Well, I gotta be up early tomorrow, too, so. We should probably yeah, call I... it then. I've got to go out with mom and bubbles. Okay. I'm hungry and I need to eat dinner, so. Yeah. Okay. Sounds like a good time to yeah. stop then. Mm -hmm. yep. So we will pick up next time with 
combat. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah, it's pouring rain. I can hear it. Bye, now, Nihon, Firedale, that means you have to be here. Yeah, I'll yeah. be here. <laughs> yep. I'll be here. That's the plan. I right. made it here today. All right. Mm -hmm. For the last little bit. Yeah. Well, thank you all for joining. I hope you all enjoyed this session. Um, and we will pick up next time right here. We tried to talk it out. He yep. he went he went flashbang. Yep, he went flashbang. Bye everybody. Bye bye.